Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Yes, another new week, another new video, another brand new video. And yes, you've guessed it again, another new single malt whiskey. We're heading, this time guys, we're keeping our little journey on Campbelltown. Starting off with the entry level Glen Scotia. So this is this video is probably aimed more if you're new to whiskey and you're letting get into whiskey, or you just you're just a big Glen Scotia fan, and or you've just got Glen Scotia on your bar. Unfortunately, I don't have it on my bar, guys, at the minute because initially I wasn't one of them that connected it right away with Glen Scotia. I think the Glen Scotia 15 changed all that for me, so I never really I kind of bypassed this one. I think. Looking back now, I've got a little sample of it, so this might decide whether I actually go out and purchase a bottle of this. So I'll let you know a little bit further on in the in the video. But yeah, Campbelltown, one of the whiskey regions of Scotland. It's up there with Speyside, Highland, Lowland and Isla. And then you also have obviously the islands. So you've got Arran, Jura, Talisker, Orkney, all those kind of, kind of places. So it's just a nice little, nice little place off the west coast of Scotland and it's in the Kintyre Peninsula. Really, really, it's really tough to get to. It's one of those kind of places that it's a wee bit of a trek to get there, but once you get there, it's absolutely fantastic. I think Campbelltown, they call it, is the little tune. So, yeah, let's talk a wee bit about this one. It's entry level, it's non age statement, it's Glen Scotia double cask. Double cask, it's a double maturation. It's spent its first part of its life in first fill ex bourbon barrels. And then it was transferred into Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. It's 46% ABV. Again, big props to Glen Scotia at entry level. There's not many entry levels now come in it. 46%. It's non-chill filtered as well. Yes, there's a little bit of colour in there. So just one of the little boxes need ticking. Take note, Glen Scotia. I'm hoping there's, there's some discussions going on and there's plans in the future to kind of get rid of that colouring and just go full on top top presentation but yeah it's 38 pounds a bottle we're currently here in the uk not too sure what it is in other markets but i don't think it's an expensive whiskey it's pretty much readily available to get a hold of so yeah without any further ado guys let's dive in and let's nose this taste it see where we go so okay it's on the nose of this one it's it's floral, it's bright, it's really, really fresh. But the first thing you pick up in the nose, there's a little bit of spice in there as well. So there's some cinnamon, definitely some nutmeg, but it's, it's floral as well. It's floral and fragrant. Big, big burst of vanilla. The vanilla just pops out the glass at you. I think that's coming from those ex-bourbon barrels. It's sweet. This is a sweet one, folks. We all know Alan likes a sweet whiskey, so this, this may go down well. Okay, toffee, caramel. A little bit salty, little salty character there. Bit of sea breeze, maybe. I think Campbelltown's a little bit coastal, so I think there's definitely a little bit of salty influence going on there. But then, once you get past all that toffee and caramel, vanilla, maybe a touch of honey, it becomes a little bit fruity, so I'm getting some nice, some nice apple, maybe some pear, mostly apple. Wow! And then here comes the sherry notes. It's the, some raisin, some sultana, but it smells. There's a little. It smells like it's going to be a little bit dry. Not sure if there's any smoke in this. I think some of the Glen Scotia's are lightly smoked, but. Can't see I see any smoke, but it smells like it's going to be dry. It's dry, salty, and it's musty. So whether that's that little hint of the Campbelltown funk there, there's a little musty element in there. It's not all about the noise. Let's see how this one tastes. So we're going to send this down the hatch. Cheers, folks. Definitely a spicy arrival. It just peppers the whole tongue. Mouth feels quite nice. Is it oily? Yeah, it's a little bit oily. It's velvety. It's... it's silky wow but it's spicy and salty the salty character definitely comes through there onto the palate it's a spicy salty arrival let's see how it develops okay once you get past that spicy arrival 
it's caramel, toffee, maybe salted caramel. I'm thinking maybe some some boiled sweets, a little bit of Weathers, Weathers Originals in there. Little toffee. But it's dry, it's spicy, it's vanilla, it's toffee. At the same time, it's really, really sweet. It's a sweet vanilla, sweet toffee. That apple's there. So the apple actually now is, it's becoming a little bit toffee, sticky toffee apple. Some citrus, some orange, some apple. In fact, I think I even get a little bit of a, maybe a cider note. So there's a little bit of cider going on in here. Wow, I've not had that before. Wow. Cider, toffee, apple, sticky. Got a little bit nutty now as well. It's a little bit of salted nuts. Considering this is an entry level, guys, there's a little bit of complexity into this one. I wouldn't say it's the most complex. There's enough things going on to keep you interested. If you're new to whiskey, then this is, this is a great place to start. If you're an established malt head, this might just be a nice starter whiskey. If you're maybe planning a little flight of whiskies and you want to get your palate acclimatised, this would be another great place. So it's, I'd say this could should be on most people's bars. It'd be, there's no reason why it can't be on your bar. It's £38. It's not a bank breaker. It's the start. It'll introduce you to the Campbelltown region. It's got the Glen Scotia character there. It's definitely gone nutty. A little bit of salted nut in there. So much vanilla, raisins, sultana. Wow, fantastic. The finish, let's do the finish. It's still spicy throughout. Spices have been there right from the, the arrival, right through the development, right into the finish. Spicy finish, cinnamon, sweet cinnamon, nutmeg, definitely nutmeg. Lots and lots of vanilla, a little bit of fruit, and there I see it, there's maybe a little hint of smoke right in the back there, but it's very, very, you'd probably need maybe some wood smoke, you'd need to search that out, guys. Tiny little bit in the back there, it could easily be missed up. So, what do we think of the double cask? Wow. Yeah, I think at £38 a bottle, it's in the, it's in a price bracket, guys, but it can be, there's, there's other ones in there. I can see why a lot of people miss it. I can see why it, it kind of gets... If you're a Glen Scotia fan, then it's a definite. It'll be on your bar. But it's in a tough, tough price point. Glen Dronach 12, Glen Alecky 12, Aaron 10, Glen Cadam 10, Lashig 10. So there's lots and lots. It's in a real, real tough bracket. But guys, if you're looking to try Glen Scotia or you're looking to get into whiskey, this is definitely the place to go. I'm not going to score it, folks, because it's a sample. But would I buy it? It's probably... I'd probably give it a miss. I'd probably pay the extra and go and get the Glen Scotia 15 when it's on offer, run about the £50 mark. So I'd rather do that, get a wee bit more from the 15 But, guys, yeah, it's great stuff. I'd probably pick up an Aaron 10 instead. I'd probably pick up a Glen Cadam 10 instead. If I had a bit of spare cash and I could buy them all then yes yeah, certainly I would buy it but yeah that little musty notes hanging around a little bit the finish as well the finish is it's probably a medium finish but that little musty notes there I think that's that little bit of funk but yeah all in all guys that's another one done I'm going to try and make this a quick one if you've liked the video guys don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if you're a returning subscriber then thank you very much and welcome back if you're so happy to pop in for the first time, then whiskey's your thing. This might be right up your street. Just a friendly reminder for me, guys. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. You're helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 5K. Can't believe I'm saying that as well. Don't forget to click the bell to be kept up to date with ever future live streams are popping out and any videos that's coming out. And you can catch us on all the social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, we're on them all. If you want to pick up some Whiskey Friend coins, I've got a handful left, guys. So see, I'm in the process of designing batch three. I'll pop all the links into the description. And other than that, I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend, and as always, 
pleasure in the sharing and I'll see you all very soon. Cheers now. Bye-bye.